Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Training for Success. I'm back with the usual suspects. So we have actually the almost all million dollar margin club. They all uh, are the big high rollers. So there's a little bit more share size today. Yesterday, we were trading 750. Today, we're trading 1,000. Everybody can make that no problem. Actually, technically, to be in the million dollar margin club officially, you need to have at least $250,000 in your account that you get are then eligible for margin. Well, you're eligible for margin at 25,000, but you can then get a million dollars to trade if you have 250,000. So that's why, what, why the name was coined. Hopefully, you've read this disclaimer. This is an entertainment channel. So we are not licensed financial advisors. So I made a little trade a second ago and just I was checking some reconciling and lost some quick money. So 1,000 shares. Meta again. Basically, I left the same. If you guys watched um, yesterday, uh, I, I left the same four hours. I did change the ATR for the RV strategy. So what we're going to be trading today, if you guys, if you're not familiar, is the RV strategy. It is a range-bound strategy. I'll go over it very quickly. How you find your stock is you, you there's a rating system in the Day Trading Volume 1 book that is a link to on this channel put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. So I would suggest getting that. So what is a range-bound strategy? Well, we trade in a range. What you do is you take the close from the previous day and you will subtract the ATR, which is down here from the previous day. So if I mark, you can see that it's $8.64. So that's $4.32. So you subtract it from the close to get the ATR low. You divide it by two and you subtract it to get the ATR low and then you subtract the other, uh, you add the other half to get the ATR high. So you're making basically the entire 862, is that what it was? 864 and you're you're making, this is 864 roughly between here and here, it should be very close to that. That's your channel. That's the entire movement of the stock, the ATR, meaning average true range over 14 days. So you've created a channel in here that you feel comfortable that the stock's going to stay within over the 14-day period. So you can see for most of the days it stayed in here. And when you start, it usually always stays in there unless it's a big move, a big trend. So once you've created that channel, then you open up your five-minute and you create a Fibonacci based on the high-low over a 10-day period. Right there, high-low. And then that's on a five minute and then you do it on another five minute chart. And this is an actual strategy that's designed and it's in that book or it's all over this channel in videos. And I explain it almost every day when I trade it. We also trade the open strategy and the escalator strategy. These are three strategies that we give a lot of details about. That coupled with the fact that you get this amazing a scanner when you're watching here. This is totally free uh, DTS scalping indicator. So I uh, recommend that you uh, find the video for that. I think it's 82 or 83 where there's 10 free scripts um, uh, to get that are totally free where you just go down under the information and you um, highlight the URL, then you, you go up to your setup and you think or swim and then you move it over and then you push control V and it's in. So once we get this channel and you, and you show how we make the Fibonacci's in there, we also mark the four hours. Now guys, I went back further. I went back actually 30 days to try to get more areas that weren't, if they're not here, then they're picked up over here, but picked up wicks and bodies. The Fibonacci's picked up some when they're missing here. You can see the Fibonacci picks it up. So they're all here. They're all picked up. Why do we do that? Well, that's where the stock turned around. Those are pivot points where the stock turned around. So they make channels, ceilings and floors. And see how it's respecting it right here? It's respecting this channel. When it makes a hop, there's in the book, there's all kinds of ways to read when it moves outside of a channel, when you should go in and out of a trade. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I know I sound like a giant salesman, but t for twenty four ninety five, dollars and that goes to the Million Dollar Margin Club, uh, one trade, and, and you've made you know five times that probably. So now this strategy that we're going to be trading 1,000 shares, and remember, works just as well with five shares, 10 shares, 15 shares, or 1,000, 2,000 shares. The great thing about large caps is you always, for the most part, get filled, unless you get way up there. Remember, your level two here is showing these numbers multiplied by 100 and a bunch that are hidden. If you're worried about getting filled, push the flatten key. You'll always get filled. I don't use that. I use buy and sell market because it's easier for you guys to understand what's happening if you're new. We always start right at about a half hour after the market opens in the New York Stock Exchange. We're looking for stock that are moving around very slowly 
They're like a big snake within our ATR range, consolidating, resting, so that if we get caught going the wrong way, you know, usually it's going to retrace. But always have a trading plan. Always be prepared to get out. we got about two minutes, guys. I'll be calling the ball, quarterbacking for everybody here. But obviously, I'm not a, uh, you know, they take their own trades. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. We like to trade together. There's people that have professions. They're called quarterbacks in the war rooms and the trade rooms, which is something that I do and have done. And uh, so I feel confident calling these things out. So here you have the five minute, the one minute, the scalping indicator. This is the four hour, the one hour. This is another five minute. This is a 15 minute. So I can kind of watch some of the longer term trend that's happening here just to make sure I don't get caught up in the moment. But I'll be trading in the one minute here. So I'll be watching these. I have the volume profile set for intraday. There's a video about that too. Make sure you type in under search. Like if you want to go volume profile, shows you how to use it. Scalping indicator shows you how to use it, how you can get it. Um, so that's all good stuff and it's all free here. Uh, no courses to buy here, guys, just, uh, good information to hopefully, uh, get you to be making 100, 200, $300 a day, make a living, maybe change your life. We've got about 45 seconds, guys. Um, I am, it, everything is pointing to long. It's breaking out. Although it is some resistance right here, it does have a four hour pivot that it hit here two, three times and turned around two times actually and but this is the upper part of the volume profile it needs to break that um and the volume is high though so it's definitely telling us to go long unless it makes a move here right at the last second let me just see if that is reconciling correctly it's banging off that though it's banging off that and losing a little bit of its way i'm actually going to short i'm going in short and uh, I might get hit. Yeah, I'm like half went short, half went long. Yeah, I know sometimes I call it crazy. So I my max loss is 750 per trade. You will see me reverse, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to reverse again. I'm short again, 323.13. Made a little bit of a cushion. Getting hit here. I'm getting hit here pretty hard. It's a battle here. Look at this, the, the uh, scalping indicator. There's a battle. Uh, it looks like the sellers are going to win, though. So that's good for me. Well, maybe. There's quite a spread if you look at the level two. Range is between like four and 10 cents. There's 12 cent spread. Yeah, I'm not liking this short much longer here. I'm not, I'm not feeling this short very good here. Keeps bouncing off the 23 and going straight up. Although the 15 minute and the five minute are both showing it red, red, you know, the sellers won out here as the volume, because it didn't, it didn't uh, more volume than the sellers uh, kind of dropped off of that volume there. So now it's going the wrong way. Look at look at the solid dollar amount, even dollar amount as a possible uh, support as well. I got a nice cushion so I can play around here a little bit, but obviously I'd rather just make more money. Three twenty three thirteen. Do you have a helper here that's handling chat? Um Yeah, it's just Kind of boring. It started out like I thought it was going to be all exciting here, but it's just sort of hovering here. Oh, wow. I'm going to reverse at that one right there. So I'm, I am I was counting on this to – yeah, I was counting on that to hold it, and it didn't hold it because it held it all these times here. And, of course, as soon as I decided to turn around, it, it didn't hold it because that's the puppet master. That's the puppet master right there.
So yeah, you got to look at these ceilings and floors and these channels that every time it breaks through, one, it kind of puts a tether on it. It's kind of like it's alive and it wants it to go back because these are points that people traded and made the stock turn around over the last 10 days. Why did that happen? How many shares made that happen? How many algorithms made that happen that were working? You know, why did that happen? So what we can do, not having that information, is play those channels. See, look at it here. And then there, like I said, there's, there's from all these people backtesting this since March with this strategy, um, all these sort of rules and guidelines to follow. And I covered it. There's a video that covers it when they released the book a few months ago, basically, so I didn't have to keep answering the questions. But it was, it was um, continuing to morph and change. Like, for instance, I went back 30 days and I, uh, on, on setting it, and normally we only go back 10. And the reason I did that, because it rated pretty high today, Meta, again, um, it rated uh, um, you know, over 8 on the rating system. But one of the things that was weak was that you needed to have more days in a row in consolidation to make those channels. And that was the point that it didn't get. So I went back further. Uh, you know, there's points to rate it, you know, um, and I went back further just so I could get some in the action area that it was now. Everybody wanted to trade meta and that's why I did it. So, you know, we change the rules from time to time to make channels to make if it still rates high enough. Now, if it was rating a three, you wouldn't see me go back 30 days because it's so much against it. It's like, why are you making up new rules? We already went through this for many, many months to... And I know so many people, I know the email that the guy that was at 900,000 is over a million. I know that uh, since he started trading this, and that was a couple months after it started. And I know a lot of people are making one, two, three thousand dollars a week. And I know some are still struggling and, and working through it. Uh, many are making a couple hundred dollars a day, which is really our goal with this was a couple hundred dollars a day. Um, everybody's green. That's nice. Yeah, just a couple hundred dollars a day. Change your life. Maybe you get to 300, 400, you can quit your job. and uh, Or it's just another, you start putting it towards swings, you know, and then you build up it that way. Um, but just just strategies, the uh, open strategies, another one we teach here. It's a, little, it's a little more risky, but if you follow the guidelines, again, I can't promise anything, and I'm not a financial advisor. Seek the advice of people you trust. That being said, if you follow the guidelines on the open strategy, we usually do pretty good. And remember, we do have a video that shows how to tell which way the market most likely will go. And if you're trading the open strategy, it's pretty important to watch that video and, and use that technique because it's it's right more than wrong. And of course, it's the big, it's the big stocks, the big seven that will move the market. I'm not sure why Tesla's in there because that one's hard. That sometimes will go the opposite direction. But um it's, uh, you know, so if you can kind of see how the spy gauge the spy moving, you get a pretty good directional. Holy mackerel, look at that. Yeah, looking for 324 as a resistance right up here. As a, this, so now it's, it's, there's no oxygen up here. This is the highest it's been. So I don't know if it's going to keep going up or not, but that is a pretty big trade to, to let slip away. So I'm not going to let this slip away. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take that. I, I, I don't know. What's, now it's going to probably go up because I did that. Yep, there it goes. Well, I banked 1700 so that's all right. So if I see it hit this fib, you'll see me get out. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it to be pulled back. I'm looking for this to be pulled back here. Now, it might just start trending up. Now, the escalator strategy is a strategy of when it breaks the ATR. So when it breaks out of the range, that's what we dub the escalator strategy. And then we wait for it to go out, retest, and then if it starts to go up, we jump on. And that's the escalator strategy. And you use longer term. Look at the volume profile sliding in here. Did you see that? So having the volume profile set for intraday is very helpful. You can see where the price action is. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, you set longer term Fibonacci's, longer range, and you do longer range support and resistance. Excuse me. I held that one in. You're not supposed to do that. 
Um, yeah, I used to be a uh, commercial diver. I grew up in the Bahamas, and I have broken my eardrum seven times. Seven times. And I just did what you're not supposed to do. That's what made me think about that. I felt that kind of pop. Uh, I just didn't want to sneeze into the camera for you guys, but you know what they do when they break, when you break your uh, eardrum, you know, when you keep, and you want to keep diving because diving was my whole life, everything, uh, the excitement and the adrenaline of diving. It was just so exciting. I, I think I've gone onto this, some of my older videos, I talked about this a few, six months ago, but, um, they have to get, they sew on a new eardrum. And they go down through your, I know this is not trading talk. I'll be done in a second. <laughs> it's like they go down three layers of skin uh, so that it won't grow hair. And then they rip out a section of that and then they sew that in for your new eardrum. Huh? Is that gross or what? But that's what they do. Everybody is green doing really good. So I'm looking at 323 as a possible support here. 323.12. You've got the nine. You've got the twenty. Um, this is this is the 323.50. Of course, is the real support. So it could turn around right now. But if it were to continue, so I was looking at this is definitely telling us that it was going to continue. But you know the volume did go down with it with the sellers. So it's not as strong as I'd like to see it. So I don't like to get out of a position, guys. You've probably seen that. I um, the time it takes me to to wait for the perfect setup again, um, I find that I lose a lot of money. So I try to manage reversing. Now that's an advanced strategy, and a lot of the million dollar margin club guys don't like it. They don't. They think it's ridiculous. Um, but one of the, the only rule we really make is we all have to trade exactly a thousand shares, so nobody gets FOMO. But how they do that thousand shares, I know some of them do join the ask and join the bid, and um, they don't do it the way I do it. Uh, I'm doing this a lot because I have hotkeys that I trade when I trade on light speed, and I um, I don't do this button thing. But I do this so you guys can actually see what's happening here. And I've gotten pretty good at it. I've gotten used to it. It was really weird when I first started trading on YouTube with this, but... Um, I feel like I've gotten pretty good with it, but sometimes my wrist is, it's in an awkward position on the mouse to slide back and forth to just sit here and hold and wait and wait and wait. I can't, over long-term time, I probably get that corporal, is that how you pronounce it, corporal tunnel? I've never had that, but, um, all right, so now we're looking at this. A lot of action here where it used to be. So this is where I would look to reverse in this general area but if it gets down here, I'll wait a sec and just see. I'm, I'm going to reverse right now. I don't like the look of that. I'm reversing now. So, yeah, that didn't. Uh... Yeah, look at that go. Man, I got that right. Wow, I caught that. I caught that because I was going to hold it. I thought it was going to steal. Wow, is it going to break that Fibonacci too? Wow, look at it go, guys. How many, most of you got that, right? Yeah, I saw that just getting support there, and I was like, we, we better flip. We better flip. Holy Christ, I'm so glad I didn't miss that move. Oh, wow. How much further can that go? Get ready to flip it again here. Wow. That was a, that was a great move. Don't Let's not lose it. So it, got, it really hit that four hour and stopped at 324.59. It stopped that hard. Could it go? <laughs> Is it going to bang back again? I'm actually going to reverse there. I wanted to bank that. Maybe I shouldn't have because it's still going. 
wow, really? Is it going to go back or not? I want to get, I want to go, I'm going to take a lesser loss. I flipped, I flipped back to go long. I think I lost 20 bucks or something. Remember, there's a slippage here too that you get. Um, yeah, I'm going to reverse again. There's no oxygen up here, guys. It's 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 getting thin to breathe up here. So uh, so I just always trade that it's going to go the other way after after a minute or two. I just always trade that way and then adjust if I'm wrong. Um, you know, I try to get. It's a scalping mentality where you're trying to scalp little moves as it's going up or as it's going down. You're trying to scalp these these little moves. So. Um, I actually lost money. You see that slippage there? Wow, I used to have 2800. Now I do again, but that was uh, I'm doing it long. Uh, yeah, it, it has to be like 150 bucks. I'm getting a between the spread and the slip. Um reversing's not working for me. So almost hit the ATR. Um, so that was, uh, guys, and there's a couple of you broke three K that's good. Yeah. That's where that thing I was just talking about reversing was actually a detriment for me. Um, So it's really respecting the the 50 cent here. Let's see if it breaks it. Watch this number right here. This is what the market makers are going to give me. And uh, and because I have so many shares, it slips off that to fill them. So and this is moving every split second. So I think that it has to be over $100 in the green, at least if I'm going to do baby scalps to even break even the way I'm watching this spread and this uh the way i get filled so not as deep as i would like to see it the uh the lined up buyers and sellers here we go heading back down toward the fib now i need to i'm waiting for the bigger move now guys got enough bank even if i i'm i'm okay with 2500 today that's what ends up happening Geez, I thought with more share size we'd be hitting 5K easy today, but it's it's a struggle. Day is young still. We trade for at least a half hour. We've only gone about uh, 16 minutes. There is an actual good trade there now, but I'm not going to get out when it, the sellers and the uh, scalpers indicator is. Uh, <laughs> It's doing what it's doing. It's telling me this is going down. 15 says it's going down. 5 says it's going down. This is a strong move going down. It's banking against the 9 right now, moving average. This is a double fib. The, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, uh, that was a big dip there. I'm getting ready to reverse, guys, at this uh, at the 24 even dollar mark. It broke through it for a minute and then came right back up again. Yeah, I'm going to reverse. I can't. I can't. Uh, um, Yeah, it looked like it was done. Yeah, okay, that was right on time because I would have been stuck going the wrong way there. So I have it long at three. Yeah, three twenty four sixteen. Is it? What's the chat there? I'm gonna reverse that.
I'm short again. Yeah, you're right. I see that. It's okay. I got it banked. I got it banked. I'm okay. You got to watch. These numbers are going to be big for, to trade like this. They're just a little tweezer move here. Wow. I had my eye off that five minute. That was bad. Yeah, tap that ATR. Whoa. So you saw that with the buyers, it was higher. The sellers were lower. So really, buyers should be winning here. I'm going to short. But uh, both the five minute and the fifteen minute say short. So this is where you can get confused when you're reading the small. I was confused to the point where I could have just had three hundred bucks a second ago. But anyway, I started to look over here like maybe I shouldn't, and now these are turning green. So that was stupid. Whatever. Look at this. Look at this four hour being respected here. It wants to break that ATR, guys. Man. If it breaks it, I'm definitely reversing and going long. And then I'll wait for it to pick up and then hopefully retrace on a short. We still have about 10 minutes. Go ahead, break through that. Let's get some, that's okay. I'll take a $400 hit. Let's get some action up here. That's probably where we'd, we'd get some real action if it broke through the ATR. Now look at those sellers, the buyers there. I mean, come on. You know you want to go up. Or not. So here's what the market maker will give me if I try to reverse right now. And this could be just a pullback for a big, it's next push to, to break this. Now the fact that you've seen me trade, the fact that it died without even hitting it, that's a bad sign. That's a sign it's going to go down. I mean, it didn't make the ATR. Now, these ATRs don't come out of nowhere. You saw how I uh, factored it in. It's the, it's the total range a stock does over 14 days. It means something. And you'll see time after time when you set it up, it's totally respected. It's like, oh, we're not supposed to leave that. That's outside of our, our tunnel or whatever you want to call it, our channel. We don't leave that. And then it just goes right back down. And then when it does break it, it's like, we're free. <laughs> you know, like, oh, it really, it can really go, like, you know. Um, yeah, everything long term is saying, now it's saying it's going to, it's going to go down. Now you saw the sellers pick up in volume here on the scalpers indicator. So if this is going to do it again here, then it's a very good sign for me in a short position. And if it also if it breaks that, which it just did. So that's really good. The double fib got broken. So we broke the 2450, 324.50, and now we're dropping. So now we're looking to see if we break 324. I'm just going to hold this position. I am tempted to bank it, I have to tell you, but I don't think I will I will cover. I will not. That's 4,000. God. I'm just going to just bank that, and I'm going to actually re-get back in. Um, now, you may say, well, you could just as easily have gotten out. I know I, know I could have, but I like seeing that. <laughs> I like seeing that number. 
And my position's exactly the same, probably worse. <laughs> but I like that I know that now I, I won't let this get below 3,400, like 750 lost. So I know I'm going to make 3,400 today minimum. So that's one of the reasons. It's, you know, the whole thing, man. We're, it's a psych game for us all, right? We're, we're battling against ourselves in these trades. It's, this is the battle. It's right here. Nobody else. We have competitions. We have fun. But you have to, um, you know, control yourself and follow your, your trading plan. I often break it. I know I do. I, I often uh, cannot admit I'm wrong. I have a terrible time. It is sort of the, uh, one of the human things, though, right, that we don't want to admit we're wrong. I know I'm not the only one, even though they might all say I am. <laughs> so, um, and then if you have, you know, if you, I think I mentioned it yesterday, if you have three bad trades in a row, you should stop trading for the day. If you made your max loss, stop trading for the day. Trade another day. Try to build up over 30 days, that green over 30 days. Get your uh, trader view or your logbook, log. We have a great logbook the Million Dollar Margin Club put out. Um, that has the rating system for the open strategy. Um, but use any logbook, if not that one, because I know it keeps it on. It's not the what is somebody said on one of the emails or chats oh you guys it's like a stone age to have a logbook well let me tell you every single you know not every single nothing's every but i mean listen to the traders that are millionaires are doing very very well they all log like the old fashioned way because you get to write what you're thinking you need to write what you're thinking. So you need some sort of logbook. What was your strategy in that trade? Why did you do that? This is a great move. There's not a, yeah, everybody's short. Thank God. Um, so logging. I know I say it a lot, but there's always new people here. So I feel like it needs to be said over and over that get used to logging after the trades, especially in your journey when you're um, – Probably going to get out at 5K. I don't know if I'm going to hold it any longer than that. If it keeps if it keeps doing this, this is uh, this is good. So um, I might bank it again here soon. Every time I bank it, I probably lose a hundred bucks. You know, so I'm just playing with my mind. You know, by doing this, but you know that whole the money burns a hole in your pocket pocket thing. You know, if you have it. You're going to spend it, you know, the same, same kind of logic, reverse logic. When it's an open trade, it's like not the same as like, I don't want to lose what's in the bank. This is, this is my pocket. This is the open trade. I don't, ah, oh, it's an open trade. I, once I have it, it's like, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose it, you know. Um, see, that was already almost 500 and I feel stupid. I didn't take it. And I will right now, and I'm just going to get right back in. So see, 4,600. So now I know I'm going to. I'll get out before I'm 3,900 or around 4,000. If this goes up to uh, down to 4,000, I'm going to get out. So let's see. I don't want it to do that. I'm not trying to have it call my bluff, <laughs> but um, it's a good day. I mean, I try to make 5k a day. Um, I didn't. I didn't yesterday. Um, but it was close. So I'm only trading to 1030. Everybody knows that. They obviously can trade on. I don't like to trade more than about a half hour a day at any given session. I've learned that sort of, besides other things in my life. Uh, go, wow, there's 5K. Look at that. I did not expect that to happen the way the morning was starting. So now this right here, I'm absolutely getting out for the day if it even gets anywhere near that. It's the uh, back into the volume profile intraday. There's also a trend line right here, guys. That's the same one I set up from yesterday, which is a really well-drawn, if I do say so myself, <laughs> a well-drawn uh, trend line that I would absolutely respect. That's putting me at 322, 322.70-ish is that trend line. Right around 322.70, I would uh, worry. Is that right here? Now, see, that's right near here. So, not showing. Oh, it's down here. Okay. It's like, why isn't it showing it on the one minute? 
So, um, oh, so I was not paying attention and lost lost my 5K. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I've got wild animals in here. One of them, my uh, pixie bob, which is half half of a, a bobcat, and she uh, can rip furniture to shreds. And uh, you want to make sure her claws are clipped because uh, she also can rip you to shreds. So it's a great cat, though. It's an actual breed. They made it an official breed in the in the late uh, mid to late nineties, and it's called a pixie bob. But there, uh, you've got those. Uh, those ears, tufts, and the eyes that sink back, the stripes on the back and the spots on the on the stomach and the seven toes on every paw. And the paws are like friggin' catcher mitts. And, and they walk right into the shower with you. They walk, wow, look at this, guys. I'm going to take that. I'm going to cover right there at 53. Woof. Yep. Look at that. That could keep going. I mean, I'm just, uh, it's, it's, 30 seconds till my a half hour for me, so I'm going to call it a day there. Guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, I know I talked yesterday about I'm going to be making uh, a couple of videos that uh, don't have trading that are going to talk about these support and resistance lines a little bit more detail for each and every one of the strategies, so I'll be doing that soon. Um, and we'll see, what, we'll see what next week looks like for swings. I'm getting talked into the fact that with everybody here that my doom and gloom uh that everything's going to go down that that till the end of the year that things are going to go up um that you just the big seven you can't you can't bring them down so right now and i'm not giving financial advice remember that just our thoughts about what we might do is um swing swing for the fences with the big ones other than tesla but, you know, Google, Meta, and Apple, and uh, NVIDIA, and um, I don't know. I missed three there. But you know what I mean. All the big guys, you can fill them in for me. Um, Tesla, I, you know, Elon Musk is his own worst enemy because what he, I don't know. I mean, it's not just him, obviously, the way the what's going on with the company. But I do believe that that's, that's always going to be a great investment right now though it's just so hard to call it i just i would be worried about swinging a swing trade with that right now but eventually that thing's gonna take off again crazy um we just have to get through all this stuff okay guys well thanks for watching uh, i appreciate you uh subscribing and watching on the channel giving me thumbs up and i will talk to you soon stay green out there